Well, they claimed they were feeding hungry children here in Minnesota, but prosecutors say those children didn't even exist in what's now one of the largest federal fraud cases ever brought to our state. The director of Feeding Our Future and 46 others are now facing charges accused of defrauding the government of $250 million. Yeah, officials say people were pocketing money meant for needy children, instead spending that money on cars, jewelry, and other luxury items. So let's bring in Courtney Godfrey now. And so, Courtney, you visited one of those sites today that claimed to be feeding thousands of children every day. And what did you find? Well, Kelsey, this particular location claimed to have served more than 1.3 million meals over a seven-month period. And yet today, we found a nearly empty storefront. Neighbors saying they never once saw any kids. If you look in the front windows in the front, there's still children's toys and stuff in there, but they never were touched, ever. It's the only sign that this empty storefront may have at one point been a business that had something to do with children. The only problem is the neighbors on this stretch of University Avenue in St. Paul say you would have never known it. Did you ever see a child come in and out of those doors? Never, never. Every, every single person who was ever coming in, on, in and out of that building, they were an adult. The site is one of more than 200 locations named in federal indictments filed this week in federal court, all sponsored by a now defunct organization called Feeding Our Future. Their goal was to make as much money for themselves as they could while falsely claiming to feed children during the pandemic. U.S. Attorney Andy Luger charging 47 people in what is now the largest pandemic fraud case in the nation. During the investigation, the FBI followed money trail, paper trails, filled with falsified invoices, receipts, and fictitious names. An inconceivable number of meals were allegedly served, all of this representing an astonishing display of deceit. This site alone claiming to feed thousands of meals a day, seven days a week to children in need. Now, an empty image of greed. When you hear the money's not even really staying here, that that is especially frustrating. Court documents say the stolen funds were spent on lavish vacations, international property, luxury cars, jewelry and more. And while the feds have been seizing property to date, they've seized what would be worth only about a fifth of what was taken. In the newsroom, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Courtney.